Hey everyone, we're finally on our way back out to the bus. It's probably been about three weeks now because we went to Bali, which there will be a vlog up at some point. I'm just really slow at editing, so we figured we'll get this one up first to uh, give you guys a progress update. Um, it's a bit later than we would normally go out there because we went to Ed Sheeran last night and didn't get home till like 2 a.m. or so, which was awesome. But yeah, I think today we're going to um, finish the underlay, uh, rip out the roof insulation, and if there's time, put some wall insulation in, but we're not being super ambitious today. Just uh, gonna see what we can do. There's Claire, say hi. Hey. Huh? Also, I have a chai latte. Claire got a hot chocolate. So we got a delivery yesterday. Uh, we also got our fridge and washing machine delivered to our house. Uh, we're gonna do a separate video so sort of just going through the appliances and that sort of stuff that we bought and why we picked them. Um, but yeah, it's exciting stuff. Forty mil is the length, hey. Yeah. Sixteen is the. I don't know how screws work. Anyway, we got some screws. Size seven, sixteen by forty mil. Whatever that means. Seven sixteenth is the width of it. Seven sixteenth. Nice. No, size seven, and then it's sixteen by forty. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> we got these screws. That at the time of purchasing they looked good, but that was a while ago, so I don't remember. Um, last time we were here we put the subfloor in and glued it, so now we're just going to uh, screw it in. Probably going to do four screws per piece that we installed. It's an electric screwdriver. <laughs> that was good. That was beautiful. Here comes the metal bit. Baby, baby. You just detached it completely from the metal. I did. So when it says self drilling, it's not self drilling through metal. So we need a drill bit to drill through the metal. Cool. Let's go find a drill bit, I suppose. I feel like we make everything way more difficult than it is. So my plan today is I'm going to start on roof insulation. I'm going to wear a mask because it's very dusty and we don't exactly know what it is, so I'm gonna go with safety. Um, I'm gonna start with a paint scraper and just see if I can scrape it off. I read a few people that did it and they said it was quite easy, so see if I have any luck. Notice how I didn't say we'll see how we go? So let's see if we have any luck. reason we're removing this insulation is we found out it's highly flammable so we are replacing it with um, wool instead that's what we're thinking anyways something that's a lot less flammable so if anything were to happen it's obviously going to be a lot safer um, so far it just pulls off the upper damping chain is going to be about scraping it all off but you know Seems like a 
bad idea to be removing insulation on a near 40 degree day. Let's just make it a little bit hotter. thought process was back then but we definitely bought the wrong screws so we'll do that later and I'm gonna help take out this insulation. I don't think we'd be too fast on it, we just get the majority of yeah? Hmm. So we just spoke to someone who knows a little bit about what they're doing. Recommended not to uh, screw the back and that the glue is enough, so we'll probably just follow that advice. Makes our life a bit easier. So we're just going to get some lunch and a drink. It's hot. Like the, yeah, it's getting colder. Like we're in mid 20s, like every day until it's like, yep, time to go back to the bus and it's back up to 40. Mm -hmm. Just our luck. Food should be good. So you can be eating it. Because I attempted to screw this very unsuccessfully, I now have to re-glue it because it's come off from the floor. So we're going to do that just to make sure it's um, yeah, nice and secure so we don't need to screw it. Um, Claire's just going to do a bit of cleaning and then continue on with the roof. And, yeah. Let's hope that works. Now I'm just going to put some silicon in all the creases and holes and make sure it's all nice and watertight. Actually, to do what? Hundred percent. Right. If you want to get these perfect, yeah. Do it however you want. Tell me to shut up if you want. No, that's I'll what Mum said too. I was helping. That's all. You can tape these, right? With yeah. a bit of masking tape. Yeah. Your lines, if you want. This is if you're doing, say, a bathroom. You don't care on the floor. Yeah, I don't yeah. care so much here. But. And then when you do this, to stop it sticking to your finger and being horrible all over the joint. Yeah. Warm, warm soapy water. water. Dip your finger into it. Put some dish liquid. Okay. Some warm water. Dip your fingers in there, and you get a perfect. Beautiful smooth edge, hmm. rather than dragging your, your half dry silicon all through and get it all over your hands. Yeah, okay. That's, exactly That's the what best way how to do it, man. Yeah, because we'll probably have to do some in the bathroom and stuff. So, but yeah. when you when you do bathrooms, tape your edges. Yeah, so it's nice. And put it in, and then smooth it over with your warm soapy water. Pull your tape off, and you've got beautiful, perfect straight lines and a smooth finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Cool. Anyway, that's a drink. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.
So we sealed the rest of the bus and now we're just going to put the rest of the underlay down. Um, we've done half of the bus, we didn't want to do any more until we got the rest of the underlay down. It's getting late so once we get this down we've got to move a bunch of stuff from the bus so we probably won't get to the rest of the insulation until next time. protective sheet down to protect the underlay and now we're just going to move all the stuff that we bought into the bus to keep it out of the rain and yeah keep it safe until next week So if we go about two thirds of the insulation out, uh, the glue is a lot more difficult to get out than we thought it would be. Um, so it's taking a bit longer, but we're getting there. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll do. Um, finish sealing the floor and putting the underlay in, which is awesome. It's starting to look pretty cool and get there. <laughs> um, Guess the next steps now, we're going to look at putting some wall insulation in. We're also going to look at getting everything prepped so that we can put our shower unit in and so that we can start some framing maybe. Yeah, we'll just see what happens. No. Back to the cold now. I've got a blanket and everything. From sweaty to cold. Hmm. Not going to be too ambitious. Just we've learnt. We're getting better. So, yeah, if you found this useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you. Thanks.